Rick Santelli standing by uh, with the numbers. Hey, Rick. Hello, Joe. And this is a biggie because the employment cost index for the second quarter, well, it's running pretty hot. Uh, our last uh, read it up 1.4 was the all-time high going back to 96 record keeping. It moderated by one-tenth. It's up 1.3, which is interesting. That's a tenth better than expected, but it's a tenth lower than the rearview mirror, which up till now has not been revised. The employment cost index has been on a steady increase, of course, at salary benefits. Uh, so we understand that inflation puts pressure in that regard. Now, personal income for the month of June up six tenths of one percent, a little bit better than we were looking for. We we're looking for up half one percent. And last month's half one percent moves up by a tenth to be six tenths as well. Back to back six tenths. We look at spending up 1.1 percent, also a bit better than expected. Multiples better than our last look, which is upgraded from two tenths up to three tenths. Now, let's look at the personal consumption expenditure deflator month over month. These are some of the Fed's favorite inflation gauges. It is up 1%. 1 percent. Well, up nine tenths. Our last look was the cycle high for 17 years. It continues to comp back to 2005, where it was up 1 percent. And if we consider how far back you have to go to get higher than 1 percent, that'll take you to 1980. 1980 when it was up 1.2. And guess what? That is the all time high. We are only one tenth away from that. And if we consider what's going on with the year-over-year -year number, it's up 6.8. 6.8 is another new fresh high. That takes us back to 1982 when it was up 6.9. Let's look at the core deflator month over month. That's up 6 tenths. That equals our current high mark. And that was in April of 21. So we go back up to it. And that is the highest level in 21 years outside of the fact that that was April. So equaling April. And finally, the last look is the year-over-year -year core deflator, Joe. That's up 4.8. The high watermark there was 5.3 in February of 22. So we did ease off just a bit. Uh, these are definitely pretty hot numbers, though, and the Fed's going to pay particularly close attention to them. And we have more data coming out. Uh, let's look at where yields are. So right now we're 271, 271 and a 10, which means it's up about three on the day, but it's down about four on the week. Uh, we do see that rates are up across the curve on the day and pretty much down uh, in terms of the week. But as we start to float higher, we need to pay very close attention, especially right around that psychological two and three quarter level. Back to you.